Finally, the train to Toronto and a room with four other Macedonians in a boarding house on Niagara Street. In Toronto, 1903. A dynamic new world city bursting with industry. They did not know that they would be the heroes we now speak of. The heroes that shaped a destiny of freedom and prosperity that rivals any other nationality in the world. And who were these people? These men whose names became families, whose families spawned generations of Macedonian Canadians to become the largest Macedonian settlement outside of the Balkans. Andreov, Belchev, Blagoj, Bristo, Dimitri, Dimitrov, Dafev, Iliev, Ivanov, Georgiev, Germandov, Grudev, Kiprov, Lazarov, Mihailov, Nikolovsky, Paskalev, Perov, Petrov, Philips, Popovsky, Stoymanov, Stefov, Stoyan, Stoyanov, Temovsky, Tipulov, Tomev, Trenton, Uzanov, Vasil, Vasilev. As political conditions grew worse in the Balkans, the community grew more committed to their stay in Toronto. They sent for their women, and the women once again proved their strength, keeping the family and culture together as the men worked long hours and the children grew. The villages developed their own societies, and our neighborhoods developed a recognizable character. Kako politička sostojba se vlošuvaše na Balkanot, opštinata vo Toronto se zajaknuvaše. Opštinata vo Toronto se zajaknuvaše. Vo jedna makedonska kujkja, premnogu čista i mirna, rasteja i zdravec. A Macedonian house grew zdravec, was meticulously clean and very quiet, as families brought with them their fear of old country persecution. And the need for togetherness was strong, as they gathered in the coke yards and the boarding houses, and a man would travel 150 miles to attend a dance. Stanovnitite na Toronto počna da gi primjetuva makedoncite i da se sprijateluva s oni. Ali makedonska ta kanadska opština se zajakna i makedoncite se zbližija najpojke koga je formira crkvata, Sveti Kirili Metodi. Established Torontonians began to notice the Macedonian presence and became friends. E. Blake Robinson found jobs for our unemployed. Archibald McMurchie provided relief for our destitute. Upton Sinclair defended our workers, and Nurse Fraser cared for our elderly. But never did the Macedonian Canadian community come together so strongly and admirably with common purpose than when they created their first permanent place of worship and culture, the little church on Trinity Street, St. Cyril and Methody, founded in 1910. The collection box would move from house to house as the $2 donation, sometimes a week's wages, grew to $5,000. Enough for the first permanent statement of Macedonian Canadianism. Dr. Demetrius Malin, whose moral obligation was to help Macedonian Canadians, worked diligently as a statesman and humanitarian, generously providing spiritual and material leadership to a community hungry for self-realization. Lambro Tenekev was the first president of the Church Executive Committee and was known as the godfather of the Macedonian community. Foto Tomev, then a young art college student, painted the patron saints and has since become a great source of pride as an artist and historian. Out of this vital center of Macedonian activity rose Balkanski Unak, the athletic and cultural society. And out of Balkanski Unak came Tommy Ivan, who went on to become one of the world's greatest hockey coaches. On June 12, 1974, he was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. These were very turbulent.
These were very turbulent and exciting times for Macedonian Canadians as they sought new solutions to old problems, healing old wounds with new ideas, and accepting more responsibility with their newfound freedom in a place called Toronto in Upper America. Сето ова од една рака луѓе печалбари кои се собираа во кафаната Балкан. All this from a handful of men who gathered at the Balkan Cafe. It is encouraging to know that the Macedonian people of this city are imbued with the ideals of their Canadian citizenship. Ralph Day, Mayor of Toronto, 1938. The Macedonian Canadian community had officially distinguished themselves as good citizens and good soldiers in World War I. The new parish hall opened in 1928 with the play Makedonska Karvava Svadba. The world was fighting its way through the Great Depression. The Balkans had once again been subdivided to the exclusion of a Macedonian nation, and Macedonian Canadians now numbered 25,000 in Toronto alone. Makedonska Takanatska Opština, koja brojše preko 25,000 Makedonci vo Toronto, se pokaže i se odlikuva ne samo kako dobri vojnici vo prvata svetska vojna, туку и како добри државјани во новата татковина. Она што беше обавеза да се обстани во стариот крај, сега стана обавеза да се успе во новата татковина. Само што овај преод не беше лесно да се постигне. Само што овај преод не беше лесно да се постигне. What was a commitment to survive in the old country was now becoming a commitment to succeed in a free country. But this transition was not easily achieved. If the struggle of the first generation was physical hardship and loneliness, the second generation would endure a more subtle and disturbing conflict, that of two loves, homeland and adopted home. So, uh, do I uh, change my name to get a job, or do I uh, keep my name, keep looking for a job? Do I send my money back to my village in Macedonia or do, to my village association in Toronto? Is the prejudice here worse than the depression we have back at home? <laughs> Never mind. Am I Macedonian in Canada? Or Canadian from Macedonia? <laughs> I don't know. Do I put ham and eggs on the menu? Or sausages and hot peppers? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There's no way. However difficult conditions may be, in Canada, there was, at least, a promise. The promise that hard work, unity, and strength of character would lead to respect and a better life. Macedonian Canadians met those requirements. Tabiraš među dve sakanici, rodnata zemlja i novata tatkovina. Vo Kanada imaše nadež. Nadež teka teška rabota, edinstvo i silen karakter bi vodel kon uvaženije i podobar život. When jobs were not available to foreigners, a man could shine shoes during the day, wash dishes on the night shift, graduate to short order cook, and eventually own his own restaurant. Mecca Grill. Carol Java Shop. Canadian New Service Lunch. The Queen's Restaurant. State Grill. Grass. The Tivoli. Osgood. The, the Geneva. James the Restaurant. The Europe. The Sword. Superior. The Madison. Stereos. Theodore's. Park Avenue. The Mercury. Homestead. Terminal John's Lodge. Grill. The Queen's Falcon. Tea Room. The Crystal Grill. It fit perfectly their national character, calling for hard work, long hours, family commitment, and independence. But most important, to own his own business meant respect. Respect among his people and for his people. Macedonians wanted and received respect in Canada. They would never let it go. 